Have you ever been faced with the dilemma to use a Mac-based computer or a Windows-based computer? Many people will say to buy a Mac computer because they are easier to use and more reliable than a Windows-based computer. But you might have reasons to buy a Windows-based computer. We will answer those questions in this short talk today. How does mobility fit in today's technology? Mobility, such as cell phones and tablets, will cover mobility at a later part of this presentation as well. So what do I mean? So what do I mean by a Mac? A Mac is just a brand name. It was created by Apple Incorporated, which is, of course, a company that we all have heard. Apple's big brand. So Mac is a brand name, whereas Apple is the company that created that brand. So a Mac doesn't apply to one specific computer. It can, it, it's geared towards a more wider range of computers. So when you want a Mac, you essentially are saying that you want an Apple computer. So Mac is just a brand name, it's not a company. But same with Windows. Windows is simply a brand name that Microsoft created. We're all familiar with Windows. What is an operating system? The Mac and Windows, first of all, are operating systems. And I've narrowed the definition of an operating system to one simple sentence. Software that manages hardware and other types of applications on a computer. Now we come to the most important part of this talk, which is the downsides and upsides of both Macs and Windows. Not one is one is not better than the other. And as I, what, what, I'll, what I'm about to do here is compare the two operating systems, both Mac and Windows. What are a uh, few downsides of owning a Mac? First is you have less flexibility. So it's more difficult to upgrade their systems because they are proprietary in nature. They create their software geared towards a specific purpose and offer it out to you. They're not, you can't expand their s computers as easily as you can a Windows-based computer. You have less support with a Mac, not Apple support, Apple support is great by the way, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the support in the ways that people use a Mac. Less people use a Mac, therefore you have less support in the open market. And as Deborah pointed out earlier, everybody knows pretty much, well, many people know that it's more expensive to buy a Mac right up front. But as we will see, a, owning a Mac might be less expensive in the long run, but you spend more money up front. As many people say, Macs are more reliable. Now let's look at a few downsides of Windows. We all know there's downsides to Windows. You have more flexibility with the Windows-based computer because you can expand it, you can upgrade it. More developers and programmers who make software for Windows, there, there are more programmers and software being built for Windows. And that could, that could lead to a downside in Windows because it, it could introduce more errors and bugs that happen, and a lot of the problems we see with Windows are simply because of software that people are making for it. It is widely used, so people are more likely to create viruses for Windows. People often think that Macs can't get viruses, but the truth is they can and they do. But since they have less support that people use Macs, they, people are less likely to introduce viruses into their systems because hackers 
want to attack the most popular type of system, which is Windows. So it could be a downside as well. And it breaks easier, of course, because the developers create software for it. And it's just, it's more likely to break because of the flexibility. So Windows computers, all these problems that people are having, that's the majority of the cases is from the software. And if you have, I won't get into the, the actual physical parts of a computer, which could also introduce a lot of different errors with that as well. Now we come to the upsides. We're going to look at the upsides to owning a Mac and the upsides to owning Windows-based computers. One is, of course, Macs are more reliable. I mean, Apple spends billions of dollars, billions of resources on developing their operating system to, to work specifically the way it should work. It's like Windows will throw a party when something goes right, whereas a Mac they expect everything to go right. They're more reliable, and over time, you don't spend as much for IT support and for it to be fixed. And it has less support in the, in the market, so people are less likely to introduce viruses to it. And they're easier to learn, people say, because there's only like maybe one or two buttons. On an iPhone, for example, you have one button, that's the home button. I don't like that as a technical user, but many people do by max because they're simple. A few of the upsides to Windows is, of course, you have more support in the market, so you have a bigger range of, of people, skill sets, who can work on their Windows computers, and more software being created for them. And like in businesses, for example, more businesses tend to use a Windows-based computer instead of Mac. Here are some of the reasons why. They, are, they have developer flexibility where you can Developers create software for it, and they're also less, less expensive than Macs. Now we've come to the mobility section. There's not much to mobility except I just thought I'd show you a few devices out there. The iPad, the tablet, the cell phones, the netbook. Can, can, name, name one that's not on here. Do you see one that's not on here? Maybe that's outdated? How about a pager? Desktop. <laughs> desktop, mobile desktop. There, I, I put phone on here, but a, a car phone used to be popular, I guess, among the rich. From what I hear. Before cell phones, of course, they had car phones, and that's part of mobility as well. Any questions? Yes, Mr. Hell. So, which one do you use? <laughs> on the mobility part of it, Mac or I use Windows. I haven't been able to justify owning a Mac because they are expensive, more expensive. So but I use Windows for all of my activities. Thank you, and that concludes my presentation, Mr. Toastmaster.